now Patrick McGinty an Irish man of note fell into a fortune and he bought himself a goat goat smokes his body but when he bought the borough, he found it was a well. All the young ladies, all lived in Killaloo, all wearing bustles like their mothers used to do. They each wear a bolster beneath their petticoat, and they leave the rest of powder and Paddy McGinty's boat. I know my authority. Was poor to tie. She hung up on her fault the walls along the line to dry. Along came the goat. The saw the bits of white. The chewed up all her fault the walls upon the wet night. Oh, turn out the light. She shouted it to Patrick. I know I'm your bride. I'm not worth wearing your hat. I do everything. I told you when I wrote. But now, now one went out not long through the party against his goat. But he was delighted about that. Mickey Riley, he went to the races the other, other day. day. One twenty dollars and he shouted, Hipparay! A whole box of monsters, all of us have been. Along came the goat, he swallowed up a lot. The goat swallows him now. Yeah, what? He's eating me banknotes, says Mickey with the hump. He called for a doctor and they called the stomach pump. They pumped and they pumped for a twenty dollar note. But all they got was knife inside of Paddy McGinty's coat. Look what I saw when I was there, I made you laugh. Paddy McGinty's coat had a wondrous appetite. One day for breakfast, he done some dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> this is recording. <laughs> Whole box of matches, he swallowed all serene. Then he would actually drink off a pint to part of it. She didn't be back. He swept by the fireside, he didn't give a hang. He swallowed a spark and exploded with a bang. As if you go to heaven, you can bet your dollar note. The angel with the whiskers on is Paddy McGinty's ghost.